Alright guys, Will here from ZaltechReviews.com Today I'm taking a look at the Van Banner PM 2. Point, let's call it 2.5 because this is the updated model Unfortunately I never got to review the 2.0 which I think every reviewer got to review apart from myself uh, it was just wrong timing for me uh, by the time I contacted them and all oh, the reviews had been done and there wasn't any spare but I think I'm the first to review this uh, it's not officially called the 2.5 but I'm going to call it the 2.5 right as I say I never had the 2.0 so I can't compare between the two so I can only just review it for what it is, it's what's sat in front of me. I can't make any comparisons or anything like that. Anyway, cue the intro. Right guys, uh, I'll do a quick unboxing first, then I'll go through the specs. I don't have... Uh, any notes on this whatsoever I can't find anything online I mean apart from the 2.0 reviews so I'm just going to wing it and tell you how I find the watch and I mean I've, I've wore it like that obviously um, but as for measurements and specs I've, I've got no notes whatsoever so I'll just do it on the fly kind of thing right I believe the packaging is the same as... Well, I actually reviewed the Van Banner AO Sports Watch and the packaging is the same as that. So, uh, Obviously, you got a cleaning cloth. Uh, obviously, I've took it out the plastic and all that. Uh, obviously, a tag there. I'll just leave the tag on. Uh, nice wee box and cushion and no you can't take that out there's nothing behind that just the instructions and all that about winding the watch and whatnot. as I say I never got to see the 2.0 so I can't tell you what the differences are right where to start Put it in frame first, you tit. Obviously, I've got the white dial version. Uh, fuck it. Uh, see, when I've not got any notes, I'm lost for words, man. Uh, let's just go through the dimensions and all that, right? So, I've got my calipers here. Diameter. Let's call it 40.5. The thickness, including the crystal is 13.5 lug to lug 47.5 now while we are here the crown 6.5mm uh, bracelet is 20mm oh is it? Aye, it's a 20mm lug width but it tapers out it tapers out there, as you can see, it flares out there to the to match the that the side of the case there to give it a more a better flow kind of thing. Anyway, it tapers down to for fuck's sake. Let's see. Tapers down to seventeen and a half, and it's back up to the. Class, call it 20mm. Uh, is that all the measurements done? Put the watch down so people can see it. Right, that's the measurements done. Uh, movement that's inside this is the Seiko NH38. Uh, obviously, a 3 hertz movement. Uh, this, what's, oh, it is. It's a Miyota 9039, 100%. What a fucking idiot I am. Top quality review, Will. Yeah, fucking spanner. Um, 
you could tell I'm just doing this off the top of my head. Um, let's see the, the case itself. It's fully brushed. There's no polishing on this whatsoever. Uh, vertical brushing on the side. Uh, and I believe it's circular brushing on top. And obviously the bracelet's fully brushed as well. The bracelet's quite nice actually. Quite small links, as you can see. Sign clasp, it's milled on the scissor portion there. It is pressed on the housing itself and it's signed with the Van Banner logo there. Uh, it's friction, no, it's push button on this one. Push button uh, on the sides and the fold over there. Uh, six levels of micro adjust, which is good. It's a nice class, it's well built. Comfy on wrist, not too big. I knew I kind of get that fucking back open. There we go. Uh, quick release uh, release pins on the bracelet. I'm not sure if that's an upgrade or not. Uh, it's good to have. Easy for uh, strap changes. You can see the, the case back there. It's... Oh, let's show it. I'm better looking at the camera rather than trying to look around the tripod and looking at the watch eh, so I can see what you see. Uh, you got that red sticker on there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Right, what have I missed? Obviously, screw down crown. Signed. It's got that red bit on it with the PM, the parking master. Uh, it's a countdown bezel. So it's slightly different to a dive bezel, i.e. it's back to front, but it makes it easier for counting down, obviously. Um, and the whole point of this is they've marketed it, marketed it at, you leave your car, you know, you've got, what, 40 minutes in your parking meter, you set it to 40 minutes, and obviously it counts down to when you're, parking meter thing's going to run out of credit so that's how this works you can also use it to fucking time anything really boiled egg or whatever that's what I've been using it for but see now I can use it I use the like a normal dive bezel just for doing things like that but this obviously this is count down rather than count up so it makes it a bit easier easier to understand um, the dials are matte white all the indices are applied, nice chunky hands as well. Uh, printed logo at 12, automatic 200 meters, uh, just above the indice at 6. Uh, red seconds hand, and obviously you've got the orange and red. Obviously, as a, you count down, it goes to orange as a warning, and red, you better get your arse in gear and go back to your car. Bezel's nice, actually, the, the uh, action's... It's very nice, actually. We wee tiny bit of back, well, quite a fair bit of back play, but it's just resting in the position, so I can't really complain. More importantly, for me anyway, is it lines up 100% perfect, so that's more important to me than a wee tiny bit of bounce or back play or whatever. And you could hear it there. Aye, so it's all good. Um, fair bit of AR, AR coating on the sapphire crystal there. Uh, what the bezel insert is made of, I've no idea. Um, I'm probably I could probably guess it's ceramic. It's kind of shiny ceramic. It's not the normal, it's not the brush ceramic that you get on other watches. It's no. I don't think it's sapphire. No, it's not. It's no, it's no sapphire. So I'm going to guess. Now this, um, I hope you like this review because it's 100% accurate. I'm just guessing everything that's in this. I've got the movement wrong. I've got a fair bits of other things wrong. But at least I've rectified it on video rather than putting in stupid stuff later on. Uh, what else can I say about the watch? Uh, the build quality is good. 
Uh, the brushing on the side there is a bit rough, but to be honest with you, it's it's not an expensive watch. That's another thing I don't know. I don't know what the friggin' price is, because there's absolutely nothing on the Van Banner website. No prices, no nothing. Uh, so I'm guessing it's going to be the same as the 2.0. What the price of that was, I don't know. Uh, but it's not an expensive watch. Known Van Banner, it'll probably cost about three quid. I'm kidding. Uh, what else can I mention about this before I head off? Mentioned the bracelet. Done the dial. Uh, don't know what the warranty is either. Probably the same as the the AO. What was a fucking? Let's see. Van Banner. Ah, the cost of the Van Banner that had the same movement and all that, and that was only what it was under three hundred dollars. So I can't say it'd be much. Run about the same as that anyway. But uh, warranty wise, you're looking at a year. Which is fine, fair enough. I mean, the cost of these, I wouldn't expect two-year warranty on this, but I still would have liked to have seen it. However, uh, done that, done that. Let me show you a wrist shot. In fact, let me zoom out. Move that to now. Wrist check, and we're in the Wise Hitman Thailand edition that I recently reviewed. I've not done the date yet, so oh, I'll get around to that eventually. Uh, right, let me take my gloves off. Take the <coughs> oh, your best. Aye, right, there you go. Fits my wrist fine. Um, sits in the wrist really well, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Let me show you a wee bit closer. You know what I mean? No overhang, no nothing. Sits well, no... Uh, stupid case, you can't see the case back whatsoever when it's on wrist, which is good, that's what I like. I, I don't like watches that have got big massive case backs. I was actually watching a video the other day, uh, I don't know if you guys watch it, but your man from Chilling With Watches, he was showing a doxa and he put it on his wrist and then you, he done that and he showed it and I'm like, Fucking hell, man! There's more case back than there is fucking watch on that thing. Aye, yeah, so I'm in no rush to buy a fucking doctor. Eh, uh, oh shit, boss. Lim, let me get you. I'll just keep it on my wrist to save time. Aye, looks alright. I'm not too sure. Well, see the orange and the red. Well, the reds just went a funky colour. Can't see that lasting long, but then it never normally does. Uh, looks like BGW9 and C3. C3 in the hands and the marker at 12. And BGW9 on the rest of the indices and the bezel. Quite strong, quite admit. Right, anyway. Just a quick... Oh, for fuck's sake, I've just had my lunch, man. I can't stop rafting. Uh, I just a, a quick video for you today. What time am I at? 15 minutes. That's fine. And uh, I've got quite a few videos coming up actually. And I've got a mod uh, that I'm going to show you as well soon. Anyway. Uh, right, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.